guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because Martin and I are going on our very first Mathi travel trip right after the pandemic. Our last trip was in March 2020 in Batanes and it's been so long. I'm so excited to travel with him again and I'm sure you guys missed him too. So today we're going to be heading to Thailand. Our last time there was in Chiang Mai but this time we'll be heading to Bangkok. So it's gonna be Martin's first time. I've been there a couple of times before. We're gonna be staying there for five full days so it's gonna be a very exciting and quite a long trip i'm so excited to take you guys with me it's going to be my first vacation right after my mba so i'm really excited to just relax let's go we're late <laughs> It's quite empty. It's around 9 a.m. Hello. <laughs> so we just finished checking in. The process was really quick. It took us around only 10 minutes. And can I just say, it really is a game changer to not wear a mask in the airport anymore. Oh my God, I feel like everything is back to normal. You can really appreciate this beautiful airport and the good smell. <laughs> We're just heading to our gate. Then I'm just gonna chill there before boarding. Go uncle. It's really nice here, but the music is so loud. So I'll see you guys on the flight. May I have your attention please? This is the final boat on the flight. Couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things. Hi, Dad. First time in Bangkok for Morrison. So excited to revisit this place. But I don't think I've got the energy to move. And I go back to the 
dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping away It's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed Daylight now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been stressing out all of my home And I should make my way out of my home Also an iron. prepared for us and it's own PM. <laughs> So we're here at 
Atlas Spa at their sweet room and it's really really huge like even bigger than our room I think <laughs> it's like the most luxurious spa room that I've ever been to really well decorated I also really like the lighting really makes you feel so calm and relaxed ready to <laughs> go to the spa now <laughs> we're gonna have a trial of their hand spa Restaurant inside the hotel. It's called Tenshino and it's really really beautiful. The interiors are so nice. It's a fusion of French and Japanese. I'll give you guys a quick tour. Wow, so nice. The walls are so beautiful. The paintings as well. We're gonna try out their seafood buffet. I love seafood, so I'm quite excited. Martin's more excited. <laughs> Whoa.
restaurant is like a little Japan in the middle of the hotel. Super excited to eat here. It's an omakase restaurant. Gonna have a lot of seafood. The architecture really reminds you of Japan. Can't wait to go inside and try their food. Excuse me. Off to dinner. Someone's excited. <laughs> wow, dance moves. Sophie Ramos team. That's you! We're having dinner at Tenko restaurant. It's also located here at Pullman. The ambiance is really nice. It's very intimate, not too big. It's going to be my first time trying an omakase, so I'm super excited. Martin's also very excited. He loves Japanese food. a beautiful dish. This is grilled fish with yellow miso and pumpkin. Supposed to eat it separately. The fish is so soft. It melts in your mouth. So good. The yuzu is like a bit sweet and tangy. It's really nice. The pumpkin is nice too. It's not too hard, not too soft, not too mushy. Really perfect.
na. If you don't use your chopsticks for this, just bite into it. I'm just guessing. Everything is like so good. Martin, you have to make. <laughs> I'm gonna try the next dish. This is black throat sea perch. It's a mouthful. If you cut into the fish, black stuff comes out, right? It's black. Oh. It. <laughs> it's a very delicate fish, according to the chef. Mm. Quite different from the first dishes we've tried. Very balanced, like not too salty, not too flavorful. I didn't expect the flavor. For a white fish, according to Martin. The tunas and the salmons, like, they're colored and they're very tasty. And you go to, like, to your cod, sea bass, they're Not very it's, it's fishy. It's more clean tasting, but this one is a bit more filling. It's yeah. like there's a lot of fat. It's very savory. Mm. It's really good. It's like a bit buttery. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we can be food connoisseurs now. <laughs> Oma kasi connoisseurs. <laughs> Is there such thing? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so pretty. This is uni with wasabi. And there's like gold flakes on top. Looks really good. Let's try. I'm not eating it. Got me more. I don't typically eat uni, but this one has no fishy taste. It just literally melts in your mouth and just goes so well with all the other parts of the dish. So this is the next dish. This is a dessert sushi. It's made of pumpkin that they dry and they cook after. Super excited to try. It's sweet and spicy at the same time. It doesn't taste like pumpkin actually. I usually don't eat sushi but this one is really good. Chef said that the vegetarians, they really like this one. It's really quite filling, especially because they give two rolls. Let's have another one. There's more. There's dessert. Okay, we're gonna try the sponge cake first. So stuffed. I'm really in seafood heaven. If you guys are interested to try this out, which I highly recommend, it's 3.5k baht per person. Really worth it. You won't regret it. I swear. Super good. Martin has so much drink. 